boat race is one of the most famous festivals of Kerala. It is a highly competitive event with several teams from around the state taking part. Top of the line boats, each of which are designed and handcrafted by the teams themselves are embarked. It is a stellar event that is seen not just as a race but as a celebration of excellence in aesthetics, teamwork, skill and endurance. There are various facets that are common to all the teams. The paddlers are renowned for their skill in rowing. This is the outcome of a rigorous training schedule that spans months and years until each paddler attains perfection. Training is imparted by experts in the field. Meditation is practiced for concentration and yoga for the coordination of mind, body and soul. They undergo a strict physical fitness regime with their diet closely monitored. There are daily rowing practice sessions to the rhythmic beats of the Vanjipata, which results in synchronized action. The Vanjipata is a song sung by each of the paddlers to maintain the internal tempo while also guiding and pushing the boat to victory. Synergy is inherent at all levels, but is never more visible than on the final day of the race. The boat is controlled by the main steersman on the Amaram and the other paddlers beat the water with their powerful strokes in perfect unison. Nobody wavers even for a second. The passion is tremendous and therefore the synergy rises to a crescendo. All the paddlers are focused on the task, positive energy exudes and they have only one aim, victory. What makes the famous boat race of Kerala an incomparable event? What makes it stand apart? From meticulously selecting the best possible wood to designing the unique shape and structure of the boat, special care is put into each and every aspect of boat building. Master craftsmen and skilled artisans complete the work. It is then embellished captivatingly. The captain with a 12 foot long oar called the Adanayambar positions himself at the hem and is aided by three other oarsmen. The other paddlers row vigorously in rhythm to the Vanjipata. The frenzied passion and commitment of the entire crew towards the common goal makes Kerala's boat racing culture truly unmatched. Boat races bring about an air of festivity and enjoyment all around. The entire area becomes famous because of the event. It brings in trade, tourism and social upliftment. Such an event benefits not just the participants, but also society as a whole. In the course of one's journey through life, each one of us comes across impeccable hues and innumerable challenges. It is this motley mixture of ecstasies and hardships that makes life an enticing experience. One is often left wondering at the role of an educational institution in ensuring a smooth journey through life. It definitely wouldn't be incorrect to state that a school is the first path traversed in the course of life's journey. A school is the institution where learning takes place in an organized manner. Schooling transforms the child step by step. Cocooned in the warmth of a school, a child develops his persona, just like the transformation of a butterfly, which goes through several stages before it emerges in its colorful state. Schools should hence be like a beautiful garden spreading the fragrance of love and enriching the students with knowledge and values. Just like how a boat race team prepares systematically and steadfastly towards its eventual success, the school instills a never give up kind of motivation in young minds and they are chiseled to meet life's changes. We believe that boat races form a perfect allegory to how a school should function and the facets and values that make a boat race unique can be applied to schools too. Let us examine each of these. Similar to how the Oseman train and enhance their skills to compete at the top level, a school too adopts a rigorous training schedule. However, the methods adopted are much less stringent and the potential of each student is brought out. Both scholastic and co-scholastic disciplines are taught and they are interdisciplinary and interlinked. Skill development is also based on providing a platform for other schools to gather and compete in a variety of activities. Besides, opportunities are available for interactions with other schools which are mutually rewarding. 
Thus, individual skills merge with team skills to crystallize into a consummate learning culture. Teachers are ever diligent and learn continuously to update their knowledge and to employ innovative techniques. There is involvement of parents through meetings and workshops. Just like how the individual oarsmen row to the rhythm to push the boat forward as a singular unit, schools also have synergy through division and synthesis of labor. As every paddler is important in a boat race, so is every member in a school stationed in his own position in the organization, but all working towards a common goal. One must remember that every member is important in an institution. Every member is allowed to adopt novel and effective techniques to reach the common goal. They have to put in their own contribution to ensure the smooth progress of the organization. Each one should be self-motivated and vigilant to meet emergencies of any kind. An imbalance in the synergy will adversely affect the performance of the institution. It is therefore the responsibility of the authorities who steer the institution to correct the aberrations promptly and appropriately by effective and practical decision making. Such a positive energy is the secret of an institution's success. Ultimately, the effects of the synergy radiate and the students are benefited. Every school should have a unique identity and that is its vision. A participatory approach where teachers are involved in the decision-making process empowers the faculty. This leads to mutual trust between the management and teachers and a sense of collective belonging. Another aspect to be borne in mind is the structure and ambience of the school, which should distinguish it from other institutions. More significant is the teaching methodology which makes the learning meaningful and purposeful. High quality education which inspires the students to imbibe valuable lessons from nature, preparing students for careers, regular interface programs with experts, inter-school events with global linkages, promoting the attitude of research and students, connecting them to the immediate locality, and introduction of lifestyle study is what makes an institution unique. Just like boat races bring a name to the society around it, prestigious and reputed schools fetch fame to the locality. A school should include in its activities ventures that can touch the heart of the immediate neighborhood. The students should be taught to open their hands and hearts to help the needy. Such social commitment from the school turns the students into responsible citizens. Having drawn the parallels between a boat race and an educational institution, it is evident that both will achieve its goal. But what is that goal? The goal of any boat race is winning. Similarly, the goal of any educational institution is to produce winners all the way. But what defines winning? Winning is the culmination of our desire to achieve a goal. To win a boat race, a team needs to have not only the physical and mental prowess, but also timing, pacing and style. Similarly, to create winning students, schools need to have their own schedule, pace their lessons according to the aptitude of the students, and devise a unique style through their syllabus and curriculum. While winning is important, essence of true winning lies in earning the respect and acceptance of the competitors, be it for schools or boat races. A boat race witnesses the peak of excitement. Each oarsman bubbles with enthusiasm and that is what ultimately charters the course to victory. In the same way, an educational institution, if the management, non-teaching staff and students row together with single-minded devotion, can reach the pinnacle of success. A child nurtured through embrace will place the society before the individual. The grand vision of embrace is to prepare a generation which does not hesitate to stop in their tracks to help those who have fallen behind and surge to take the nation to new heights. This module is essentially about the child, but with an unwavering focus on the nation. Embrace teaches the child not just to row the boat, but to row with a smile. So jump into the boat, liven up your spirits, work with zeal and tread your way to glory.